and graffiti gangs caught in the act just how much they're costing us. That's next. Graffiti vandals are thumbing their noses at rail authorities by posting videos of their crimes online. Seven News can reveal it's costing taxpayers half a million dollar a week to clean up and the government says it's had enough. The thrills are huge, just like the risks and the damage. Sydney's graffiti vandals love trashing trains and filming it. Shows that we're not clamping down hard enough on the vandals who are causing this kind of damage. The government likes filming them too. This security video shows six people at Redfern running down the tracks, tagging, then fleeing as the train leaves. We're saying to those out there doing it, we have joined forces with the Police Transport Command. We've got more technology now to be able to catch them and we're coming for them. Catching them is tricky. Cleaning up is worse. And Seven News can reveal the true cost of graffiti. Documents obtained under Freedom of Information show that over two years, the state spent $66 million cleaning up after vandals on trains and stations. That's the same amount the government will spend this year on new Waratah trains. Enough for 869 new nurses or to pay for 47 intensive care beds. It's frustrating for passengers and the government forced to clean trains and stations right across the network. Figures show the Western Line was by far the worst for the number of vandalism incidents last year. The next worst was the North Shore Line. It was followed closely by the Inner West Line. Vandals face a fine, criminal charges and jail time. Sean Berry, 7 News. And if you've seen evidence of graffiti attacks, you can let us know by emailing us or go to our 7 News website.